Hey, what's up guys? So we're here checking out another Star Wars uh, reaction video. So this one is called Every Single Blaster Type Variant Explained by uh, Red5. So basically it's the same channel. I have like about like eight or nine videos of Star Wars right now and they're all by Red5. So we're going to see uh, what kind of uh, blasters there are and like uh, what their functions is and like uh, maybe advantages and weaknesses they have but so far you see like blasters all over like Star Wars uh, besides lightsabers because I mean like basically lightsabers is like probably the most iconic like weapon when it comes to like Star Wars but blasters uh, like Han Solo said you can't uh, beat a good blaster or something like that I, I don't remember the line off the top of my head but that's basically what he said so without anything else let's check out the video Lightsabers are easily the most recognizable weapons from the Star Wars galaxy. But in the famous words Besides of the lightsabers. <laughs> smuggler, Han Solo, Pokey religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side. There you go. Like While I said, I'm not sure almost. I agree with throwing shade at the lightsaber, I can see where Han is coming from. Blasters are just as interesting a concept as the lightsaber, and while we've spent plenty of time discussing lightsabers on the channel, we felt it was only right to finally talk about the humble blaster. This is every single blaster type and variant explained. <laughs> Before we touch on the different blaster variations, let's recap how exactly blasters work in Star Wars, because it's not as similar to real-world firearms as you may think. Rather than a projectile like a modern bullet, a blaster creates a beam or bolt of contained energy that can pierce, melt, and disintegrate targets. Generating the bolt relied on two components, a gas cartridge filled with an energy-rich blaster gas like Tabana, and a power pack. Blaster gas cartridges mm -hmm. could typically provide up to 500 shots before needing replacement, hence why we never That's see crazy. anyone reloading their blaster. Overheating was more of a common problem. Most blasters also had a stun setting, which fed power through a secondary emitter, bypassing the gas chamber to create a ring-shaped burst that left a target unconscious. The color of the blaster bolt depended on Seen the many times. and the blaster's components. For instance, bolts fired from Republic weaponry appeared blue, as they were ionized to deal more damage to droids. The red bolts produced by the blasters of the battle droids, or Imperial stormtroopers, were red and produced by a cheaper gas. Out of universe, this also wow. allows us, I didn't know the that. viewer, to tell who is shooting who. Factors like a blaster's that too. size, range, rate of fire, and overall power varied from model to model, but are largely consistent between the various classes that we'll dive into now. Blaster Pistols Blaster pistols had a respectable level of firepower while being compact and easy to conceal. Pistols were common firearms for self-defense and were often used as sidearms or backup weapons. Although they packed less of a punch than their large cousins we'll get into shortly, they had enough power to kill a humanoid and punch through most body armor. There were thousands of blaster pistol designs from different manufacturers used by various factions. The DC-17 blaster pistol was used by the clone troopers and packed a solid punch, while being light enough to allow for dual wielding. By the Galactic mm -hmm. Civil War, the DL-18 was one of the galaxy's most common blaster pistols. A pistol may have been one of the most common weapons in the galaxy, but it usually wasn't the weapon of choice for many, mainly due to its short range and lack of power. Normally, a trooper's favorite place for his pistol was in its holster, but in emergency situations, a good blaster pistol could mean the difference between life and death. Holdout Blasters Holdout blasters were smaller, palm-sized blaster pistols that could be easily concealed. Underpowered and short-ranged compared to their larger counterparts, holdout blasters were often the weapon of choice for undercover agents and criminals since they were illegal in many systems. They also Makes saw sense. their share of military use. For instance, Imperial Scout Troopers carried holdout blaster pistols as standard weapons for ease of concealment and because a heavier weapon would have been too bulky and ungainly to wield while riding a speeder bike. Another example would be the ELG-3A <laughs> utilized by the Naboo Royal Security. They went as far as concealing them within Queen Amidala's throne as a last resort weapon. Lando Calrissian also carried a similar weapon referred to as a sting beam. Sporting Blaster Pistols 
Sporting blaster pistols were light, thin-barreled weapons often used. I like by how he's connecting the heritage. movies to this. A more elegant alternative to the air quotes uncivilized standard blaster. They were more so designed for use in firing ranges or for small game hunting. They also saw use among the galaxy's rich and powerful who wanted a weapon for personal protection but didn't want to carry a large and more cumbersome rifle. Nobility appreciated the fact that they could be broken it's down all Princess into smaller Leia. parts and reassembled after transport. While they had a shorter range and packed less power than a standard blaster, these aspects helped make the blaster pistols highly affordable and attainable by nobles and non-nobles alike. Princess Leia Organa herself carried a Defender sporting blaster pistol during missions for the Rebellion. Heavy Blaster Pistols Heavy blaster pistols became popular by the time of the Galactic Empire. This class was a more powerful version of the standard blaster pistol, essentially just cut down rifles in terms of punch. The most famous heavy blaster pistol was undoubtedly the DL-44 used by the smuggler and rebel hero Han Solo. Blaster rifles Blaster mm -hmm. rifles were heavy-duty blaster variants, much more powerful than a blaster pistol. Typically, they had a much longer barrel and came equipped with a retractable stock and scope. The ideal range for a blaster rifle was roughly 30 to 60 plus meters. The rifle was usually a okay, so it's got some range. choice, and many variants were seen. This includes the DC-15A used by clone troopers and the oh, A280 employed by the Rebel The one Alliance. by the clone troopers is one of my favorites. Rifles. Like heavy blaster pistols, heavy blaster rifles were even larger and more powerful blaster rifles. They were often only distributed to one or two infantry members per squad and inflicted more damage from greater distances than any other blaster of this size. With barrels that were often exceptionally long, heavy rifles tended to be very accurate. Looks the like a blunderbuss. The heavy blaster was commonly used by bounty hunters and heavy imperial stormtroopers. Sporting blaster rifles. Sporting blaster rifles were less lethal blaster rifles popular with the galactic elite. They were primarily intended for game hunting on frontier worlds with high wildlife populations. They were light and very accurate. Sporting rifles were more affordable and far easier to obtain legally, leading to many bounty hunters using them. Luke Skywalker also kept a sporting rifle in his land speeder, which he used to bullseye womp rats in his T-16. Blaster Until it got destroyed. A blaster carbine was a shortened version of a blaster rifle, almost a middle ground between a pistol and rifle. A blaster carbine had a short barrel and compact two-handed grip, making it look more like a long pistol. Carbines were generally shorter and lighter than their heavier cousins and allowed for more capabilities, especially in confined environments. They also had a faster rate of fire than a typical blaster rifle, almost like a submachine gun in real life. Perhaps the best known example was Boba Fett's modified EE-3 carbine rifle. Both Clone Wars factions made use of carbines as well, with the Republic clone troopers employing the DC-15A and Separatist so iconic. using the E-5. Reconfigurable blasters Reconfigurable blasters were multi-purpose weapons that could be adapted to serve different functions by interchanging modules and attachments. The DC-17M interchangeable weapon system was used by the Republic's elite clone command. It could be switched from a standard blaster rifle to a sniper rifle and even a grenade launcher. Sniper Rifles Sniper rifles were long-range weapons designed to kill the target at extreme distances. A sniper rifle fired a long beam of energy capable of killing with a single headshot. Sniper rifles often had a bipod and targeting scope mounted on them for better stability and accuracy. Snipers were commonly used by assassins and bounty hunters, but also saw use by the various militaries in the galaxy. Shock or Ion Blasters Used commonly okay. by the Jawas, ion or shock blasters were close-range weapons that fired particles of ionized energy to disable the electrical systems of droids, rendering them powerless. When used against living creatures, they could be used as stun weapons. Yeah, we did see it used on Mando. Scatter blasters. Scatter blasters were close range weapons, essentially the Star Wars equivalent of a shotgun. As opposed to a singular bolt of energy, scatter blasters emitted an arc of expanding energy or spray of multiple bolts. Scatter blasters had exceptional damage output at close range, making them popular for trench clearing and urban assault, but had relatively short ranges compared to other blaster weaponry. The Imperial Army issued Makes SS-21 sense. blaster rifles to its troopers on Mimban, 
and Chewbacca made use of one in Solo as a temporary substitute to his famous bowcaster. Repeating Blasters Repeating blasters could fire many rounds in short intervals. Several variants existed, but these weapons could generally be divided into two major categories, personal repeating blasters and mounted repeating blasters. Personal repeating blasters were light enough to be carried by individuals and fired quickly without a mount, but were heavy enough to be unwieldy for those not trained in their use. Due to their unique nature, personal repeaters were generally wielded by elite branches of soldiers. Well-known personal repeating blasters include the T-21, primarily used by Imperial Shadow and Magma Troopers, as well as the Z-6 Rotary Blaster, used by clones. Mounted repeating blasters were attached to sturdy tripod bases for stability, often used to protect outposts and installations from attackers. Mounted repeating blasters were effective at cutting down a Seen it so many times units, throughout the movies the e and shows. Repeating blaster and oh, the E-Web! ...one of the most popular repeating blasters. Blaster Melee Hybrids Several forms of blasters were incorporated with melee weapons throughout the galaxy. This includes Masat bow rifles, Mon Calamari blaster spears, Ketsu staff, and blast swords. But of all the blasters in the Star Wars galaxy, which is your favorite? Which would you choose to wield? Let me know in the comments. Come join us to chat more at our community Discord server linked in the description. If you enjoyed today's Star Wars video, we've got more on the screen for you right now. Also make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. All right, so that was a really great video with uh, every single blaster type and variant. And um, <laughs> I like how the beginning, it pretty much just like uh, kind of like followed up on uh, what I said in the introduction. But either way, so many of these blasters are recognizable for those who watch Star Wars a lot, especially the movies and the TV shows. But as to like how they work, like how they're operated, how many shots you could get off before you have to reload, that was the one part I really enjoyed because the function of the gun and like how like I've never seen anyone in the Star Wars universe like reload <laughs> is kind of the part where I went huh so uh, that thing it just has like unlimited ammo or something <laughs> but either way that was really cool so um my question is if you guys had a choice between choosing uh, like one rifle and one just like small pistol or like handgun uh blaster which ones would you choose for me I'd rather choose uh, for pistol wise, I, I like to choose Han Solo's uh, handgun and for blaster wise, I want to choose the clone troopers uh, I think it's called DC-15 a uh, rifle that, uh, Those will be the two guns I really like to have But either way, another great video is- actually you know what? No, no I'm gonna change my answer, answer on the rifle I want, I want the clone commandos rifle because you can see how versatile it is and like how many mods you can equip and everything So that's really cool now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video of Star Wars reaction with every single blaster type and variant explained by Red5. He did an amazing job as always, and there's more videos of his like content coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. So make sure to hit that drop video. <laughs> make sure to hit that uh, notification bell so, no so you know when I drop another video. <laughs> I mixed like two sentences at once. <laughs> thank you guys so much for your continued support in this channel. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you guys are and I'll see you guys next time.